Hi, I'm Hossam Delahi, a software engineer. In this video, we'll see how we can do data binding in MVVM. MVVM is a design pattern that ensures separation of concerns between the views and the view models. And data binding is the mechanism that makes the views and the view models talk to each other. So let's see an example. And it will contain the uh, views of our application. Then the third folder is going to be called view models. And in Windows 8, because it creates uh, a ready um, main page here is a view. So I'm, what I'm going to do here is drag and drop it inside the uh, views folder. So here I'll have the, this main page inside the views as it's considered as a view in our uh, in our application then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add or create a view model so i'm gonna just click add new class and let's call it main view model main view model So this class should be uh, public. So in this view model, what we will do is we will add the properties that will be bound to the uh, to the view. So let's start with something uh, easy. So let's create a property of type string and let's call it title for example and let's initialize that title inside the constructor so here I'm gonna set title to MVVM overview And next, what I'm going to do is I will try to show the value of title inside, inside the view. So I'm going to go to main page, open it, and to do that, to show the value of title inside the view, uh, first I have to bind this main view model to the main page view. To do that, I select the page node of my XAML and then go to properties window and look for a property called data context. Here, in data context, I have to select a new and here I'll get a lot of classes and my project that I can access. I have to look for main page for main view model. I'm going to uh, search for it here and I can't get it. Why? Because before doing this step, I have to do build. So I click F6 or just go here and uh, click uh, uh, build solution. So after building the solution, I'll repeat the same structure here. So data context, select new, and then here I'll get the uh, binding property in MVVM, the name of my project, and inside of it, the main view model. So I select main view model, then click OK. And in XAML, it adds this code that selects the data context of my of my page to the main view model class with this way i'll have full access to all the public properties in the main view model one of them is the title so now let's go and bind that title to the view so here what i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna go to the toolbox and drag a text block let's resize it and let's make it uh, bigger 
so font size uh, let's give it for example 14 okay that's good um, and for this text block I'm gonna show the value of the title inside the view model so how I can do that in Visual Studio I'm gonna select the text block then go to properties window and look for a property of type text here as we see in text by default it's a text block it writes text block but I want to do a data binding so I select this square here and go to create data binding then I'll get this window that tells me that the data context of this element is the main view model and here I can see that I can access the property call it title in my main view model so I select title and then click OK so as you can see here I'll have that property call it title bound to my to the uh, property of type uh, text and my uh, text block and also here I can see the value of that title property it is written here and VVM overview so let's click F5 and run this project so here it is written MVVM overview thank you